I'm Anil Kumar. We'll discuss how to factor by grouping, especially when we are given four terms. The example here is x square minus 6xy plus 9y square minus a square. Now you'll notice that first three terms here form a perfect square, right? So they they form a perfect square. So we do notice a perfect square here. You remember the formula for perfect square, a minus b whole square. Since this is minus, I'm writing this formula, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? So we will combine these terms and factor this as a perfect square. So let me rewrite this as x minus 3y whole square and then we have minus a square. Now you can use difference of squares formula, right? So we'll use difference of squares now. Which is, uh, if I write uh, p square minus q square, then what do we get? We get p plus q times p minus q, correct? Now in this case, this term could be treated as p and this term as q, right? So applying difference of squares, we get this term, which is x minus 3y plus a times x minus 3y minus a, right? So we have factored the given polynomial with the help of different techniques which we have learned so far. So I hope that gives you a good idea how to regroup the given expressions and factor. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.